What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all how to perform the rack press, which is going to help you all build a bigger and stronger chest and help increase your bench press max. So if you guys have never heard of the rack press before, think of it similar to like the rack pull, where a lot of lifters will add the rack pull to their routine to help improve and increase their deadlift max over time. The rack pull is really just focusing on the upper half of the deadlift movement. Therefore, you should be able to lift more weight on the rack pull and get used to lifting that heavy weight. And it should carry over to your deadlift over time to where you'll be more used to lifting that weight and be able to max out easier with that new weight on the deadlift. So the rack press is going to be the bench press version of that. So all you're going to need for this exercise is a bench, a power rack, some safety pins, and obviously a barbell and an insane amount of iron plates. And the point of performing this exercise is to start with the barbell on the safety pins at the bottom of the bench press and you're only focusing on the concentric portion of the movement so you're going to start at the bottom on the safety pins press the weight the barbell straight up lock out with your triceps at the top lower the weight back down on the safety pins let it come to a complete stop before starting the next rep where you're going to press it back up again and lower it back down so with the rack press, there is no real right or wrong starting point for this exercise. It's gonna be really based on whatever your goals are. And that's gonna determine at what height you're gonna be placing the safety pins at. So some people may wanna focus on the very bottom part of their bench press. They may not be used to going all the way down getting that full range of motion. So they may wanna place the safety pins at the very bottom, the lowest point, and start with the exercise right there. Some people may want to focus on a certain sticking point they have on this exercise and they can place the safety pins a little bit higher or wherever their sticking point is. And for a lot of power lifters, they want to focus on maximizing their bench press as much as possible, maximizing their strength. So they're going to start with the safety pins much higher, therefore throwing on as much weight as possible and doing reps at that point. Now we're going to look at and break down three common starting points for the rack press and you guys can determine what one could work best for you or you can just add all three of these to your routine to help increase your bench press. So the first version we're going to look at, we're going to have the safety pin starting at the lowest point just at or above our chest. Actually, if the barbell were to rest on our chest, that would be called a dead press. And it's going to be very difficult at this point to lift the weight up. Your elbows are going to be less than 90 degrees. And because you have no elasticity in your muscles at all from the eccentric portion of the lift, the first rep here is going to be very difficult. You're not going to be able to lift as much weight as you would normally on the bench press. The next variation of the rack press, we're going to have the safety pins a little bit higher, keeping our elbows right around that 90 degree mark. And obviously you can fluctuate up and down a little bit, but the point of this one is to really focus on getting over any sticking points you may have with this variation. You should be able to lift a little bit more weight than you typically would on the standard bench press. So for the final position we're going to talk about, it actually has its own alternative name called the rack lockout. And that's exactly what it is. It's the very top portion of the bench press movement, the lockout position. And you're gonna set the safety pins on this one between one to four inches from that top lockout position. And the point of this exercise, a lot of power lifters use this one because it allows them to lift as much weight as possible, even more so than whatever their max is on their bench press. It'll allow them to get used to lifting that heavy weight it's gonna help develop their triceps even more, their pecs even more, get them bigger and stronger so they can handle that weight, hopefully, on the bench press. All right, and that's all I have for you all in today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more content coming to you all soon. I'll see you all next time. Hey everyone, it's Brian. If you like this video and would like to further support our channel, make sure to visit our official Patreon page. 
Every contribution helps us to continue making great quality videos. Thanks again for watching.